Breaking in Orange County, an unexpected plan to ease school overcrowding in Avalon Park. The developer are planning, uh, proposing a plan to privately finance and build five new schools. This rendering shows where they would be. West News Amanda Ober is at a packed meeting with the details. Amanda? Well, that meeting is still going on, but this battle over the proposal to build a new middle school in Avalon Park has hinged on whether or not the county commission would approve a zoning change. But at the hearing on that change today, the developer behind Avalon Park threw a whole new twist into this story with a pretty stunning proposal. Bayat Kali, who is the developer behind Avalon Park, was one of the first of 48 speakers at today's public hearing. Now, shortly before he spoke, his company, Avalon Park Group, put out a news release offering to privately finance five Orange County public schools to be built in Avalon Park by the fall of 2016. He says they would address overcrowding by accommodating over 1,800 middle school, 800 elementary school, and 100 preschool students. Kali says it was the community who convinced him to get involved. I got sent here by my wonderful team. I got sent here by community. I got 1,200 emails, you know, so almost everybody in support of the plan. I mean, you got it probably all over. Get behind the plan. Let's work together. An entrepreneur has spoken. I turn it over to the politics. I turn it over to the school board. Now, the details of the cost of building these five schools and how his discussions might proceed with the school district are not yet known. But he has already in the past financed the building of schools in Avalon Park. Meantime, that public hearing on the proposed zoning change is still going on and probably will be continuing for another hour or two. Some residents in the subdivision where the proposed middle school would be built are against the zoning change. They fear the increase in traffic, and it is expected that the county commission will make a decision regarding that zoning change tonight. We'll have an update for you coming up on West 2 News at 6. Live outside the Orange County Commission meeting, Amanda Ober, West 2 News.